Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? Welcome back to another day of Amy All April. I thought today it would be fun to do a shop with me style video for the Sephora VIP sale. I know that I'm super late to this and that's because I wasn't planning to do this originally, but there's a few things that are kind of catching my eye and I thought I would just, you know, take a look at the Sephora website, see what's up, see if maybe there's anything I want to try out while the sale is going on. It's only 15%. It's nothing crazy, but I just thought it would be a fun video for today. My birthday is in like a little over a week and I have not got myself anything, <laughs> anything at all. I haven't even thinking about it. All I know is the cake that I want to make, um, which is a three through three cake, which has a bunch of coffee in it and it's the best chocolate cake ever. But anyways, so today I thought we would just do this. I'm not sure if I'm even going to end up placing an order, but I thought we could just shop together, see what's up. And I also have a split screen option on my editor now, which is going to make this that much easier. So let's just go ahead and jump on in. I re-downloaded the Sephora app and everything for this. Okay. Let me scoot on over. Oh wait, I don't, even have to, I don't even have to scoot on over. I forgot. Okay, I'm all signed in. We are ready to go. Let's see. Okay, so I guess we should start off with what's in my cart right now. Okay, currently, oh, ooh, that made this real easy for me. The Mel Cosmetics Mary Jane eyeshadow palette is out of stock and I was still slightly considering getting that. I've seen some people hating it. I've seen some people saying that it's actually really good. I think the color story is beautiful, but it's out of stock, so that makes my choice that much easier because I was like, you know what, if I can get it on a sale, then maybe it'll be worth it, but if not, we're just gonna move that. I also have this Mother's Day perfume set just because I've been really into perfumes, and one of the nice things about Sephora is when they have like little sets like this it comes with a certificate to get one of the samples in a full size which i think makes the sets really worth it it looks like in here oh there's a pat mcgrath mascara nice um the giorgio armani my way i'm kind of intrigued by and the original chloe perfume but I don't feel like there's any perfumes in here that I'm like obsessed with the idea of trying out. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. It's not really worth $75. Okay, there was something else in my cart, but I think it went out of stock too. Let me see. I have my birthday gift, which the birthday gifts this year kind of stink. So I went with a NARS one because there's like a little lip balm. And I love a good lip balm moment. And there's like a bronzer. I don't know. I just thought... No, that would be what I would pick. I had the Tower 28 set in my cart, but I don't know where it went. I believe that that's sold out as well. I'm going to start with Tower 28 because there's a few things I was thinking of picking up from them. I asked you guys in my most recent indie makeup releases if you'd want to see me try out the new Tower 28 Bronzino Contour Bronzer. No, just bronzer in the shade Sun Coast, the lightest shade. And I got a few responses that you guys would like to see it. And I'm kind of curious. It's $20, so it's not terrible. Let's just, we'll add that and we'll think about it. I've also had some requests to try out their blushes. Let's see. Happy hour, golden hour, power hour, magic hour. Rush hour is really pretty. Hmm. Kind of like golden hour. The sun kiss orange. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll just think about that as well. We'll add it in. Let's look at the lip glosses. I have the shade Oat and I love it. Hmm. I'm going to add Cashew. I think I went to buy Cashew the last VIB sale and it was actually sold out if I remember correctly. See, here's the little set that I was interested in, but it's sold out. And then, what's this? Now oh, that kind of reminds me of the Vanessa Myers bomb. I don't think I need that. Okay, let's see. Let's look at what's new. Do, do, do. Okay. There's a new Patrick Ta, which I don't really think I need. I'm not mad at it. I like the idea of a cream sculpt in bronze but I don't know I don't know that the color selection really does anything for me 
There's also, ooh, I'm really curious about this. The Mini Balm Dia Bright Body Cream. Is it a different scent? It says Warm Florals. I really love the original Bum Bum Cream scent, so I'm curious, but I'm also not curious enough to pay $20 for a trial size of something I don't know that I'll love. What is this? I just want to ask, like, why this packaging? Ugh. It's cute. There's like a little Ilya set that has a bunch of minis. I have not tried anything from them yet. I don't really have any desire to try anything. Not like enough to like buy it. Like if it was in front of me, I'd be like, eh, yeah, I'll use it. But not, not anything more than that currently. I didn't realize Iconic London was on here. New blush palette from Ars Couture looks cute. Ooh, the little cooling globes. I feel like I see these in ASMR videos and they look really cool. But also, if I'm being realistic, is that something I'm actually going to use? Probably not. <laughs> Tatcha has a powder brush. Oh yeah, didn't they come out with a powder? That did happen. I have not seen any reviews on it, but I haven't looked either. Oh, this foundation. It's out of stock still. I wanted to try this specifically because of TikTok, but it seems like it's never gonna be available ever. I don't need it. I don't even like full coverage, so I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel like, did I ever talk about this in an indie makeup releases, the new Circo Loco palette from Natasha Nona? Cause I don't know. I don't really love this. I feel like the mattes look really pretty, but the shimmers, like some of them just throw me off. Like if the really warm orange shimmers weren't there, I think that I would like this color story so much more. So that's obviously a pass for me. Oh yeah, there's the Tatcha powder. Has five stars, almost. Or like four and a half. <laughs> don't need it, don't need it though. Don't need it, I have way too much powder. Okay, so that is everything in the new category. I'm not really tempted. Okay, let's see. Hot right now, is that different? <laughs> I've got one size by Patrick Star. that's a Big no for me, especially after the videos that came out of him. <laughs> the entitlement is real. No thanks. Not supporting that. <laughs> Skincare, not really interested. Fragrance, shouldn't be interested, but I am. <laughs> How much is Flower Balm? Because I have a sample size and I love it so much. Oh. Oof, <laughs> big oof. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's so cute. The little, is that like limited edition packaging? Okay. <laughs> little minis, wow, okay. I mean, it's so good. But that price. Okay, Let, let's not think about that right now. I guess this is what I get for not watching Sephora VIB sale recommendations because I don't even know what to look at at this point. I already have the Fenty foundation, which I've been loving. That's oh, so cute. I feel like some of the Gucci lipsticks speak to me so much. <laughs> There's this new brand. I believe it's like SIE or something is how it's pronounced. But just to let you guys know the tea, they were a bit more well known for their skincare and I saw like them being really nasty to some people because they were doing sunscreen advertisements on a black woman and they used like the tiniest little bit to show that they could use their sunscreen on her skin tone but they didn't actually use the amount of sunscreen that you're supposed to use and when they were confronted about that they were super nasty. So I personally have no interest in trying them out. Ooh, the new Melt blushes. Are these good? <laughs> it looks like they're almost all out of stock. I guess they might be. Ooh, that Golden Hour one looks super pretty. Okay, rip. <laughs> That's so pretty. I forgot that Danessa Myricks was on Sephora. I haven't really looked at her products that are available here. 
I feel like bread and butter looks nice. I have ballet slippers. This product is so pigmented. If you are shopping the VIB sale, the Duet Hydrating Highlighting Balm is everything. I have the clear one, which is sold out, but such a beautiful product. Here they brought us to the best sellers. That's gonna be a no. <laughs> Man, okay. I feel like this is going much better than I originally anticipated. There's not that much that's really calling to me. I think I'm just gonna do a quick look through the sales section because who doesn't love a sale on sale moment? The Marc Jacobs eyeliners are on sale. Are there any interesting colors? I really like the soft green shimmer and this like this matte powder blue, but I have quite a few shades like that. Oh dang, three Pat McGrath glosses for $3. Or sorry, three Pat McGrath glosses for $12. That's not bad at all. Those look pretty. And it makes me sad that the matchsticks are getting discontinued, I heard, because I love amber so, so much. Hey, I feel like there's a lot of good things in the sales section, but nothing that's really appealing to me. I'm kind of curious to look if the Becca under eye concealer is still available. I think it was the under eye brightener. Let's see. Oh, nope. She's out of stock. Okay, let's look at my cart right now. Honestly, I feel like that's not bad, but I think once I add the VIB sale, it's gonna take me down and I really wanna get free shipping, so I feel like I should get like one more thing. Hmm, okay, let me remember, what's the, what's the sale? Is it like OMG Spring? Okay, that was it, I remembered. Alrighty. Oh, no, it's still giving me free shipping. Okay, I'm not mad at it. I think that that might be my order. Let's look at the rewards real quick. I almost never get rewards because I'm like waiting for my moment to finally hit enough points to like get the $100 gift card or whatever. I don't even know if they're still doing that at Sephora, but let's just see. <laughs> Oh, there's cute little face masks. Ooh, you know what else too? The Natasha Denona highlighter. Let me see. I didn't buy this during the last sale because I was like, I'm gonna look and see if I can find it because I lost mine and I literally hit pan in it. It is such a beautiful highlighter. I can't find it anywhere. There's a few things that I used to use in my everyday makeup bag that I can't find, like the ColourPop Pretty Pretty, pretty Fresh. Um, tinted moisturizer or whatever and that highlighter and I don't know what happened to them or where they went Ooh, the mini love palette don't need it don't need it don't need it don't even look where's the highlighter <laughs> okay let's see um, not that one the super glow highlighter in the shade fair I miss this highlight so much. I think that I'm actually gonna get it. I, I really do genuinely miss it. <laughs> so that is, I think that's gonna be my order. I cannot say 100%. I'm gonna wait and probably give it a few more hours at least before I place the order instead of being super <laughs> um, spontaneous. And I just, I just wanna think it through. So that's what I'm thinking about. I would love to know, I'm gonna stop my recording. I would love to know if you guys picked up anything from the Sephora sale or if you have any recommendations. Although by the time this video is going live, I'll probably have already made my order unless I make it live tomorrow and move my Glaminatrix 3 looks to set Monday. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that and I'll wait to place my order if you guys have any recommendations. Or maybe I could just be responsible and only get the things that I know I really, really want. I don't know. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was fun. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.